Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to introduce you guys to the next project that's going to be featured on this channel. So this is a 1998 Mongoose D60R. Uh, I got this bike on a trade for some, uh, some labor on another bike. Uh, I got this bike and a Mongoose Deception, which is, if you don't know what it is, it's a 29er Walmart bike. Uh, I'll put a picture up here so you can see what I'm talking about. So I used some parts off that bike to put together this uh, 26 full suspension um, mountain bike for myself. This thing is great. I will actually love this bike. Um, it's my first full suspension bike. I've us usually just ridden hardtails. Um, I didn't really video the first phase of this project because I didn't really know what exactly I was going to do with it. Didn't know if I was going to keep it. Didn't know like what parts I was going to replace. But I put it together. Um, I decided I'm going to keep it because I actually really like this bike. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through the first stage of upgrades that I did. Um, this will be the phase one of the project. And I've got some new parts coming in the mail. We'll make another video out of those. But this thing's going to be upgraded uh, when I'm done. And it's going to be um, built up with new suspension. Um, it's going to be a great bike when it's done. So phase one. What I did with this bike was I changed out the stem and the handlebars. I put 780 millimeter bars on there from Wake. Uh, the stem is a 90 millimeter. I think the stock one was like 110 or 100. Um, the spike frame is a little on the small side for me, so that's why you see that long stem with very wide handlebars. It actually works out pretty well. Uh, the shifters are stock. I put some Ori grips on there, some lock-ons. Uh, all new cables. The brakes are stock, they're just rebuilt. I, uh, the pads are the same, I didn't change those, but I took them apart, cleaned them up, and put them back together with new grease, and they're working great. Now, this, uh, this cassette on the back and these wheels, this wheel set is actually swapped from another older specialized bike. Um, it's a seven speed cassette, but the, the wheels that came on the bike on the Mongoose normally, like stock, uh, they were very heavy they were i don't know if they were even alloy but they were they were very heavy um, and they had a seven speed free wheel they were not quick disconnect um so they were just a pretty pretty junk wheel set honestly as you'd expect from a an old walmart bike so i swapped over this wheel set it's got a um, cassette on it which means i'll be able to change it out or upgrade it if i want to um, the derailleur I took off of another hardtail that I have. It's a Shimano eight speed, but um, it works perfectly here. I just adjusted the limit screws. Uh, shifts amazingly well. The uh, front derailleur is stock. I didn't change that. The crank set is off the Mongoose Deception. So it's a three speed, um, alloy, lightweight. It's got some decent pedals on there. You know, some nice platforms. Um, and then of course the, the seat I changed as well. This is a Bontrager seat um, I bought it used. I think that's about it. Um, oh no, tires. So I also changed tires. These uh, Gator R tires, they were takeoffs from another customer's bike um, that he didn't want anymore, but they still had a lot of life in them. They're super soft, so I swapped those onto this bike. Um, total investment at this stage was, I think, about 25 bucks, for mostly for the handlebars and the seat. I had cables and everything else just laying around already. So that concludes phase one. Um, Phase two, you're gonna see a Marzachi fork on the front. I got an 80 millimeter Z3 bomber. That's coming in the mail. Uh, so that, that rock shocks jet C is gonna be gone, thankfully. And then this rear shock, it's a DNM DV6 uh, rear shock. You can get these on Amazon for like 30 bucks. Uh, but I'm gonna replace that as well because it's it's pretty pretty junk. It's leaking, it's, it's just not worth anything. So I'm gonna get a new shock to replace that. Uh, and of course I have a new bottom bracket coming in the mail too because this one was just the loose cage bearings uh, version. I rebuilt it and it's working fine but I wanted to take it out and replace it with a sealed unit just so I don't ever have to think about it again. Now one issue that I did notice with this bike was this. That water bottle cage. It's with the water bottle in there it's so close to the front wheel when it's compressed it doesn't really hit but if I bottomed out I bet it would. So that's going to be removed. That's going to come off uh, as soon as I get a backpack, a water a hydration pack to, to um, replace that. So that's going to be gone. This bike total right now, it weighs about 32 pounds, which is actually really good. Um, it's pretty good weight for a full suspension bike, especially an old one like this. So um, that's phase one. I'm going to make another video in a week or so about phase two, and you'll get to see some nice uh, suspension upgrades.